everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got another bag review for you. I'm going to talk about my LV twist and this is in the size MM. I did a review of kind of what's in my bag a couple of months ago and but I only talked about this bag briefly. I didn't really say how much I liked it or how much I didn't like it. But I've been using this bag one week straight. I was traveling with it. I changed out from my Chanel Boy, my baby bag which was getting a bit trashed because I was using it every day for two weeks straight dinner, travel, in the plane, in the car, everything time to give it a rest so I switched out and I'm, I used this bag for an entire week I've got a few things to say about it they are quite similar I mean they're both chain bags they're both one flap I've got about two good things to say about it and I've got several not so great things to say about it as well. Just quickly, I'm just going to tell you about the bag a little bit. So this is the LV Twist in the size MM and the leather, it is in uh, Epi leather, silver hardware and the colour is in black or nor. The bag's measurements, it's quite similar to the Chanel Boy. This is 23cm in length, the height is 18cm and the width is 8 centimeters. It's a little bit smaller but there is a special thing about this bag it has this W shape at the bottom which gives it more space unlike the Chanel boy which is flat. The shoulder drop you carry as a shoulder bag it's the same as the Chanel 30 centimeters. Full length it's a little bit longer it's about 53 centimeters so it's much it's a little bit longer for so you drop a little bit lower at your hip. How do you open it? So this is the special feature about this bag you, there is this twist at the front. You open the flap. I've got it fully stuffed now so I can show you how much more it can fit. It's lined with a black microfiber lining. It comes with one slip pocket, well two, and one more that carries a mirror which I don't use. Epi leather, it's it's hardy, it's durable, I mean I, there's nothing, there's no scratch on it, nothing. So that's really good. The chain is in a shiny silver hardware. It's much thinner and smaller than the Chanel which is a chunkier chain. So let me talk about the two things that I think this bag is amazing. One, look at it. It's gorgeous, it's a stunning it's a stunning bag. You're wearing it, people look at it. I mean, it's not that you want to say, oh, my bag. No, but when I looked at it, I was like, wow, it's nice. And it looks much better in real life. In pictures, I was like, uh, it's not that great. But the, it's a kind of bag that you, the more you look, the more you like. But when I first saw it, I was like, mm. I saw it in the shop and I started to play with this. LV and I was like, wow, this is a nice bag. Firstly, it's an amazing looking bag. Secondly, it fits a lot. Now, I'm going to show you and I'm going to do a really quick what's in my bag, but I've got a lot of things inside. The only thing that's missing is my passport. So I'm going to do a quick what's in my bag and I'm going to take out everything. Two, card, two wallets, two phones, tissue. Um, receipts, more receipts, some money, lipstick, some coins, battery charger, the plug, I've got medicine, my pouch which I keep, earphones and a thumb drive, eye drops, hand cream, more loose cash, my lip balm, I always bring my lip balm everywhere, organizer, my LV organizer in the size, uh, small PM size. And that's it. That's all empty. So you can see it's fully lined in the black microfiber lining. It's a lot. I could bring this along which was really helpful because I normally, if I carry my boy bag, I normally put this in my backpack. But um, with this bag, it makes it much heavier but I could actually bring this along. In terms of what it can fit, this bag is amazing. So if you need to bring more things and you're thinking between the Chanel and this bag, Definitely, this bag will allow you to bring, bring more things. So let's talk about the things that I don't quite like about this bag. I'm the kind of person that changes my bag, but I don't do it every day. I do it at most weekly because I travel. When I use my bag one week to the next week, a Sunday to a Sunday or a Monday to a Monday, 
if I'm too lazy, I'll use it for another week as well. So that means if a bag can last two to three weeks, one single bag, it's a comfortable bag. But this one, I changed it out. I changed it out today because I, I'm changing it out today because I can't. I, it's too heavy. Hope this helps you if you're thinking about this bag. Now, these two bags right now are empty. When I put them and I just like you know do a eyeball the, the weight, it's heavy. And I think it's because of the bag. This bag and the leather and the make of it, it's a heavier, it's a heavier make. Even with the chunkier chain, this is such a light bag. Look at that. Woo! The chain, yes, it's heavy. But there's a benefit to the chain being heavy, and I'll let you know why. When I was carrying this bag and I was at the airport, I tried to carry it as a shoulder bag, but at the times when I need, now I'm carrying my luggage and I gotta carry it as a shoulder bag a crossbody bag, I find that it was digging into my shoulders and even as a, just a shoulder bag, I felt my shoulders drop like that. So that was, it was quite strange. I thought maybe it's because I had this extra thing inside, so I took it out and I used it for the rest of the week, but no, this bag, heavy. <laughs> if you're gonna use this bag for long periods of time, and you've got, to me, it has to have breaks, you know, you've got to have opportunities to lay your back down, put it on the table or, you know, rest your shoulders. It's heavy. I felt it, so I didn't like that. I was thinking, why is it so heavy? This is what I think. It's the chain. It's the way the bag is made. This beautiful, thin chain doesn't carry, doesn't distribute the weight. All the weight is at the bottom, so like a pendulum, right? Mm. So when you carry the bag, you could, it feels like there's a big bulge at the bottom that's weighing you down. And so therefore, physics, right? It pushes you down, you're like heavy. Whereas this chain is thick all round, right? So the, when you carry along your body, the weight, the weight is distributed along your body. So when you add weight into the bag, it's just, you know, evenly distributed so you don't feel like there's one big ball at, the, at your hip. That's my observation about this bag. When you carry things inside and I try to um, down, downsize whatever I need, you know, take only one wallet, take only one phone, even on its own, it's heavy. The bag, the bag is heavy. So that's really sad, you know, because it's a bigger bag, more space to put things inside. It's quite sad. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of my Chanel Jumbo. Uh, I have a Chanel Jumbo in black caviar. Bigger bag, I could put more things, but heavy. And that bag, no way you can carry it as a crossbody because it just digs into your shoulders, flips around your butt like a pendulum. This has some similarities to that. The travel bag, um, I don't think it's uh, so suitable as a day bag, going out with the girls, going out for a date, you know, you carry it, looks great, got chance to put it down, good. But if you're gonna carry it a long time, oh, not so great. The other thing that I realized some about this bag, when I'm going out, it's closed, right? So every time I needed to open this bag and uh, open the flap, you've got to twist it, twist it like this and open the flap. When the bag is hanging down, I realized when I opened it, I couldn't just, how do you say, open the flap straight away. I had to use my other hand to push the bag, push the bag up slightly so that this flap could go down and up. The weight, I think the pull of the bag made the, the flap kind of hinged hinged at, at the tip of the, the logo so when you open it when you open it it got stuck so you got to use your other hand to push so that you could have a bit of give and then open the bag and you have to do the same thing to close the bag again not convenient at all when you're trying to pay something you're like open press Flip up, down, up, oh. That doesn't happen with my Chanel boy bag. It doesn't have that, 
it doesn't get stuck. It don't with the Chanel boy. All you got to do is flip, uh, squeeze, and it opens itself. You didn't have to use your other hand. You didn't have to use your other hand to open it. The only time it, the same, you've got to close it by holding the bag. So closing the bag is the same. Opening Chanel boy easier. Okay, so I'm gonna do some modeling shots of this bag right now just to show you uh, how it looks like across the body. As a crossbody bag, it falls the same right at my hip. And this is how it looks like at the front, at the back. Now, as a shoulder bag, the bottom of the bag just above my hip. So I hope you like this video, um, thumbs up, leave me any comments if you've got any questions more about this bag or any other bags. Uh, I'd like to say a hi to all my new subscribers, I can't believe I've got new subscribers. Um, hopefully I've shared some thoughts and my personal opinions about this bag. Now don't get me wrong, I know I complain a little, quite a bit about the bag, but I, I mean this bag is in my possession, I'm not going to sell it anytime soon, but I know how I'm going to use this bag. I put this bag through hell this week, you know, traveling so much. It's been on the floor of an aeroplane a couple of times. It's been shoved at the top and it's in great condition, but it's not a traveling bag for me. For me, I need something more um, light, more more usable, you know what I mean? It doesn't, doesn't, doesn't hinder me. This bag looks great. I'm going to use it when I go out and I have opportunities to put the bag down. You know, just just, just a day bag, and not, I don't have a lot of things to put inside. It's, it's a beautiful and amazing bag. But for traveling, no. So if you got any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!